In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dummy variables. Now, dummy variables are useful when we have a nominal variable that we want to use in something like regression. I'm going to use a variable called ethnic group. This variable is nominal because I can't rank the ethnicities in any particular order. If we go to the variable view, we can see what our current coding is. I've got five categories, white, European, Asian, West Indian, African, and other. Now, dummy variables can be a bit confusing sometimes. I highly recommend if you haven't already looked into what a dummy variable is that you have a look either online or get a good stats textbook and try to get to grips with what it is. Basically we're creating dichotomous variables meaning two groups zeros and ones for each of our categories. Now it turns out that if we have say five categories we're always going to have four dummy variables so the number of dummy variables should always be one less than the number of categories that you currently have. I don't have a whole lot of time to go into why, so please do have a look at that and see why that is. So I've got five categories and I'm gonna make four dummy variables. So if we go to the transform menu, I wanna use the recode into different variables option. I don't wanna overwrite my current data. I want to create new variables, each one with a 0, 1 coding. Hopefully it'll make a bit more sense once we do an example. So let's take ethnic group and move it to our variables box. Now the first one I'm going to code is white European. We can also add a label if we want to. And click change when you're done. Now we're going to define what the old and new values are. So white European, the current coding for that category is a 1. So I'm going to type that into my old value box. And the new value, dummy variables, like I said, are always 0 and 1. So 1 is given to the category name, which would be white European, and 0 is given to everything else. So I'm going to put a 1 here, click add, and everything else, so that means all other categories, I want to code as zero because they're not white European, they're something else. So click continue and then OK. If we go to our data file, we can see we've got a new variable called white European and it's got a label which you put in. We want to change the decimal places to zero because we don't need them and we want to put in some value labels. So one represents white European and zero is everything else, so we're going to call that other. So basically they're not white European. Click OK and make sure that your measurement is at nominal because uh, we can't order these zeros and ones. There's no meaningful rank to them. They're just nominal. If we have a look at our data view and go all the way to the end, we can see we've got a new variable here with our value labels showing and our codes are zero and one. So let's do one more example. We're going to use Asian. If we go to transform, recode into different variables, go ahead and click reset and move our ethnic group variable in. This one's called Asian. I'm going to put the same label in. Click change and again go to old new values. Now Asian is coded as a 2. So I'm going to enter 2 as my old value and the new value just like before is 1, so we're always coding them to be 0 and 1, no matter what the original coding is. Click Add, and then again everything else, so all other values, I want to be 0. So every other ethnic group is going to be other. Click Continue, and then OK. If we scroll here to the end, we've got Asian, and we just need to define it and give it some value labels. So from the variable view, I'm going to change decimal places to 0, and then I'm going to add some value labels. So 1 represents Asian and 0 represents other. Click OK and again just make sure that your level of measurement is correct. So if we go to the data view we can see white European they should be other here because we've only given them an option to choose one ethnic group and we've got Asian and other here and we have white European other. So we would continue doing this for two more ethnic groups, um, West Indian and African, because those are my third and fourth groups, and we would not create a dummy variable for the fifth one. So we always have one less dummy variable than we do categories, and that is because by default, 
if a participant is not white European, is not Asian, is not West Indian, is not African, it means that they are other. So we don't need to have that fifth category or dummy variable. Again, if you're unsure about what dummy variables are, what they're used for, please do have a look and see um, what they're for in either a textbook or have a search online.